Yeah, to do everybody, continuing on with our Core 21 release products. We have here the Core 21 bundle, and you see it has 10 boosters. One of the big things, though, you want to take into account is the Alternate Art Premium Foil Pack Leader card. Apparently you can only get this version of it in this set. You also have 20 Premium Foil and 20 regular basic lands. I'm assuming the foil ones are just going to be the standard art, it's not going to be the special border ones. Uh, 10 Core 21 packs, 2 reference cards, also going to get special oversized spin down life counter might be neat, and of course you know the box to keep it all in. Let's go ahead and take a look. I know some people um, have this uh, myth or legend or whatever you want to call it, uh, where they believe these special packs here. Uh, these bundles uh, have better pulls than normal booster boxes. I've not seen that to be the case. We've got here fetch info on every card from the History of Magic. Browse all the cards from Core 21 and beyond at gatherer.wizards.com. Look at that. Look at, look at that fluffy little belly. The Life and Times of Teferi. Oh, this is kind of neat. Tells you where he was born. What does the future hold for Teferi? Only time will tell. It's kind of neat. Nice to, oh, it's always nice to have these little bits of lore. At over 1,200 years old, Teferi has seen a thing or two. Here's a brief look at the history of one of the newest members of the Gate Watch. It's kind of a neat box. Uh, I, I know in some previous boxes, this bottom part would actually go up further, so the lid really wasn't built for it, but this looks to be a pretty nice box. Well, that would be why there's like a little insert not sure if you can see it. There we go. You can see that little insert in there. That kind of like catches the lip and keeps it at that right height. I'm pretty sure if we took that insert out, it would just fall down. All right, look at this. Look at that spin down. It's got like a nice, almost sparkly, pearlescent blue. M21. Definitely gonna hold on to this. This is really nice. Let's see what we got here. So we got a reference card on your turn. Popular magic formats. Uh, attacking, blocking. We've seen that before. How to cast spells. All right, that's pretty neat. Oh, there it is. Let's get that out of the plastic. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's that's amazing right there. That special alternate pack leader. Who do we have to thank for that? Ilse Gort. Yep, you can see uh, P for promo, bundle. It's got a rare symbol on it. And 392, I'm guessing 392 is going to be beyond the normal set count because there's no um, slash symbol. He will be your loyal champion and his pack your protectors. All he asks for is a full belly, a spot by the fire, and all the love in your heart. Awesome. It's just, wow, all right. So definitely need to pick up more of these. You do get the foil, alternate planeswalker, basic lands. Look at that, that's real beautiful. Uh, and there's an island. Got a swamp, mountain, forest and then all right so you get one of each of the special alternate ones and then it looks like we go back into just foil basic lands but still you know, that's that's pretty that was more than i was expecting so that's amazing right there okay all right so 
looks like you then get probably one of each. Yep. You get non-foil versions as well. One of each. And then it goes into the normal basic land pack. That's that's just that's great. I love it. I love that they had those in there. Definitely makes me feel really good about this purchase. And of course, two, four, six, eight. 10 packs, that means we're going to be getting at least 10 rares out of this. I can't even tell you how much I paid for this. Um, I, I just get so much stuff and I just I just hand people money. Like, here you go. I've worked hard. This is my gaming budget. Uh, get me this, 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 and this, and uh, I just pay for it. Thanks. This is kind of interesting. Um, these are packaged differently than the normal booster packs. Um, the booster boxes that we've opened, um, that we've seen the token, land, and rare are in the back of the pack. These seem to be packaged like the pre-release packs, where it looks like the rares and whatnot are gonna be in the front. So advertisement. Again, Wizard of the Coast, if you could you know, print uh, reserve list cards like dual lands and whatnot, as tokens, you, you could even do new artwork or classic artwork. Uh, just do like a special border, like a light blue. You've done it on some Pokemon cards before. Uh, that way folks know that they are tokens. You could really make use of those, uh, those token spots to reprint cards. That way casual players have something. Still have advertisements on the back. They won't be tournament legal. Uh, but you know, casual players will have greater access to them. And it won't take up spots in your normal sets. It'll just eat up a token slot. All right, we've seen most of these. I've done a full set review, so we're mainly just going to be looking at the rares and just see what mythics or special uncommons. Most of the commons we've already seen. We don't need the blood fell. Hey, we get a normal artwork. Let's go ahead and get both of those together. That way we can see what we got going on here. I mean, you decide which one you like better. I'm a big fan of Super Dog here with the Cape Floyd. But I imagine this one looks just as good in foil. But I'm definitely glad I picked up this one. Um, if you're going to be playing dogs, you want Pack Leader, or if you're just collecting the entire set, you definitely need to pick up uh, one of these collector packs. Alright, then the rest are going to be commons. Nothing special in there, no ultimate borders. So far, I'm not seeing anything that lends credence to the fact you get better pools. Uh, discontinuity, so we did pick up a mythic. Let's see if we get any alternate borders. Nope. There's no one mythic. We're bound to get one out of probably 10 packs. Still nothing to really demonstrate that you get better pulls out of this. Oh, Brash Taunter. It's a good rare. Uh, we did get a alternate border on Gerrick's Uprising. Uncommons are pretty decent. Any alternate borders in the commons? No. Nope. So far, not bad packs. Uh, this product itself is you know, definitely worth picking up, especially since you get those uh, the foil Planeswalker basics, and then you get uh, one of each of the non-foil Planeswalker basics. Containment Priest. Commons. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, did get an alternate border of Garrett's Gorehorn. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We're halfway through our packs. Again, nothing that's going to set the world on fire. But nothing to be disappointed about. We got a foil Wildwood Scourge, Bane Slayer Angel. So we've gotten two mythics. Yeah, two mythics out of ten packs. That ain't that bad. Especially with Bane Slayer Angel being one of them. If we can pull a Planeswalker, I'll be really happy. I still have not pulled a Teferi out of any of the packs that I've seen. Alternate Border, Chandra's Mother. 
I've gone through a collector booster box, I've gone through a normal booster box, now I'm opening this. I have not opened a single Teferi. I'm starting to think he's avoiding me. Here's my tome. Commons, anything back here? Nope. Three more packs. Can we get it to carry? Will this be the moment that we see him? Well, we got a foil mine rot. Well, um, three mythics, and one of them is a full Ugin. Oh, well, <laughs> I might actually have to pick up another one of these. This is turning out to be pretty. <laughs> Pretty good for 10 packs. That, that right there. I don't know, maybe there is something to the legend. <laughs> that these, uh, they used to be called fat packs, but I just, um, maybe there's something is, is to that myth. Well, we got two more packs. Let's, let's see what we can do with 10, you know, normal booster packs. Uh, they're definitely packaged differently. Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight, so still no Teferi. Those are on commons, I think. Well, we did get a alternate border Bazri's Acolyte in the commons. Last pack. Oh, we picked up an extra um, Planeswalker Forest. We did get a Foil Rare Spark Hunter. Masticore, and then we got a ghostly pilfer. So no to fairy still. Still trying to find one of him in one of my packs. But you know, that isn't bad for I mean let's just let's just lay this out here. You get the box, you get the amazing token. All of these foil basics. Got the pack leader. Got this amazing storage box. Let me just pull out my rares here. Probably should have pulled all these out to begin with. Try and keep everything on camera. I mean, that, that Ugin alone was like probably the cost of this whole box. And I'm still pulling stuff out. We did, we did pretty good here. So, yeah, Bane Slayer Angel. Forgot about that one. I just love the artwork on that one. I'm pulling that one out. Set that aside. I mean,. Yeah, maybe maybe there is something to that myth. I think so. Yeah, there's another myth. Eh? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I forgot about that other pack leader. Some of our rares weren't that amazing, but yeah, just just looking at everything we got out of this collector pack, that's, I can't even really get it all on camera for you. That's there's no way I can organize that so it looks looks good for you. That's just that's just a lot. I mean that's that's amazing for what you got out of here. Not all the packs are probably going to be that good, but you never know if the If the belief holds true, um, maybe your fat packs will be just as good as this. Uh, worst comes to worst, you know you're definitely getting five foil of the special lands, five non-foil of the special lands. You get a stack of foil, normal basic lands. And then in your packs, you're probably going to get another one. Probably going to get at least one mythic. There's some really good mythics in Core 21. Uh, did get a Planeswalker. It was an alternate, uh, you know, full art here, Ugin. Just amazing good box. It's a fun product. I uh, definitely recommend uh, grabbing one. 
especially if you need some uh, basic lands, you're just getting into the game. Or if you want to, you know, you know buy into the urban legends <laughs> that, that the pools out of this are better. We did see that the packs are packaged differently. Um, they're packaged just like the pre-release uh, booster packs. So you never know, that might influence the pools as well. But hope everyone had fun with this. I uh, hope this helps you make a decision on whether or not you want to buy one of these. Uh, definitely check out your friendly local game store, see if they can help you out. I know supply and stock is hard to get a hold of right now. Just be patient, see if they can help you out. Um, then worst comes worse, you can always go to like Target or Walmart and then online. A lot of options, but definitely check friendly local game store first. In these uh, difficult times, they definitely need your support so they can be around in the future. Thank you for watching, and as always, during this whole COVID situation, you stay safe.